Join me in making some Marry Me Chicken. Wonder how it got its name? Because the first time my grandma made this for my grandpa, my grandpa said, Marry Me. It has become a family favorite. Marry Me Chicken. Coming right at ya. Crock pots are made to cook on low, but we're going to cook this on high for a couple hours, like maybe six, before we turn it down and let it cook another four. So you're just going to put your chicken right in the pot and just about oh, an inch of water on the bottom. We're going to make some gravy because this is actually going to go over either mashed potatoes or noodles. Your choice. Chicken will make its own uh, broth, but I like to add a teaspoon of chicken base in it. I just use the Sam's Club chicken base. That'll give it a little more extra chickeny flavor. And if you wonder what's all in it, here it is. We're going to add some fresh garlic. We're going to add a can of cream of chicken soup, some mushrooms. I prefer fresh, but this is what I got and I'm not going to the store. Some cornstarch to help thicken it up. Minced onion. Again, fresh would be better, but I'm not going to the store. Onion powder, garlic powder, oregano leaves, a little bit of brown gravy, also a thickener, salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. So let's just sprinkle the Italian seasoning right over the top. I'm going to sprinkle some minced dried onion because I don't have fresh, but that's okay. Sprinkle in some granulated um, onion powder and garlic powder. If you haven't noticed from my recipes, we like onion powder and garlic powder, and we just like a lot of seasonings. Sprinkle with some pepper. This pepper shaker doesn't come out real, real good, but I'm going to sprinkle some pepper in here. So I'm not really putting in as much as it looks like. It just, it's the really thick pepper instead of the coarse, I guess it's coarse, not fine. A little bit of salt. All your seasonings have salt in them already. Some of that brown gravy mix. Oh, it doesn't want to come out. It says, I don't want to be in there. Oregano. And then don't forget to toss in your fresh garlic. Two cans of tomatoes, one with the juice and one drained. A little bit of cornstarch and your cream of chicken soup and then we're going to rinse this can out and probably put like three quarters of a can of water in here yet stir it up a little bit you're really not going to be able to stir it too much because your chicken's in the bottom but you just want to get it stirred up a little bit put the lid on it and forget about it for about six hours got my rice now we're going to put our chicken with mushrooms marry me chicken over top there you have it. Oh, so good.